Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, um, I'm Stella, and um, this is my this is our project. Uh, just you know, few of my friends, you know, make it like for energy monitoring. So I'll be talking about the four, uh, the goal and basic theory and the power measurement and the demo. So the goal for this project is to give insight into power usage in our home. So if we have this chart, then we can, if we know what we consume, then we know what we can save. So home energy audit, and of course, save energy. But these are, the re these are not just the reasons why I pursue this project. It's climate change. I think it's most likely that this is the reason why um, this project is being uh, yeah, so these are the two of my friends working on this project. Uh, he's, uh, this is Kieran and the other, other side is Peter. They're there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basic theory, we know that AC and DC. DC is constant, AC is coming back and forth. Um, so in power measurement, there are three flavors. Uh, this is the apparent power, reactive power, and the real power. Um, to fully understand this, I think this is the best uh, analogy. <laughs> you have a mug, so your mug is uh, your mug is the capacity of your equipment, and the beer is the stock that you want. This is the real power. Oh, the stereotypes! <laughs> just because we Irish are known for our beers. <laughs> oh, I'm being kicked down. So, <laughs> so the foam is actually the reactive power, which does not do any work on the system. Um, for a reactive, for a capa sorry, inductive load like motors, uh, reactive power is much greater. So, for instance, oh, sorry. Uh, for instance, you have a motor rated as 200 kVA at 230 volts. Um, if it's fully resistive, this is the amps. But if it's inductive, it takes 108 extra uh, extra current, which goes into the mag magnetic uh, the magnetic field of the inductor. It magnetizes the motor, which causes reactive power losses. So, <laughs> of course, we want to maximize the power. So, the left one, sorry, the right one is better than the left one. Stella, I drink brandy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm a beer person. <laughs> I drink beer. <laughs> so, just the basic, so to measure power uh, in here, we just need two parameters. Uh, actually, this is the first iteration of this project. Uh, we don't really uh, we don't really mind positions for this one, so it's just power voltage and current. So this is the formula. Uh, we're only concerned about the two because having one of these, you can derive from from those uh, formula. So RMS and peak is so this is how you measure it uh, using on-shelf equipment. But yeah, warning for the voltage measurement, it can kill you. <coughs> this is the block diagram. Um, basically, you have a line 230 VAC at 50 hertz. So the circuit it ha it has two circuits for the AC voltage measurement and the AC, AC current measurement. Uh, for this one, we use the invasive Hall IC sensor. But you can see from there that there is a isolator it is very important because this one is connected to the mains. So without this, you'll you possibly be dead if you <laughs> touch anything on the board. And this is your load in parallel. So the circuit, uh, sorry, uh, this is just uh, uh, the current and the wave voltage and current waveforms that uh, three combinations, leading, lagging, current. Uh, so this is a circuit. It's basically a diff amplifier. Uh, so from here, from the main, for the main AC voltage, we divide it. This is equivalent to one ohm. Uh, we just get a manageable voltage, current levels, and then we put it into a different amplifier. So this is what you get. So from a larger waveform, you minimize it, and then you rectify it to improve the resolution of your ADC. You can actually analyze this by lifting to a DC but I think it's best if you use this so you can fully use, utilize your ADC resolution. 
and just a filter after that. So it goes to the ADZ0 of the MCU. For the current measurement, it's just also a basic diff amplifier. Uh, it's a linear, so you can get here from 0 to 1. You can see the power supply for the op amp is ground to positive supply. So the idea of the Hall sensor is very basic. You have a current, current across a conductor, it generates magnetic field, and you have a Hall element which actually translated into a voltage, which is in here. This is the signal output to the, from the IC. <coughs> so this is the um, box <laughs> that we made. This is the, oh sorry, <laughs> this is the MCU, and this is the isolator. Apparently, this uh, DC voltage from the op amp got busted, so we need to replace it. <laughs> yeah, it decided to fry during testing this morning yeah. and took out our zero cross detection. So we're unable yeah. to tell the frequency. It's also necessary because we want to do proper power factor measurement. It's not possible without having that right. Yeah. And for the safety side, use the serial to USB here with two opto isolators on the board. Just fully electrically, electrically isolated. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, actually, the next iteration with that would be we're not going to use the ADC of Arduino because it's 10 bit. We might use ARM M7 to do digital signal processing <coughs> and all those stuff for phase and other measurements. So, demo. Demo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Plug it in. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Um, wait, just a moment. So, questions? Nice. <laughs> Demo. <then. laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I have the USD putty in here. might want to use these HDMI. And this is it. How are you powering the... Are you, are you simply bleeding power off the 230 volts for the hot, <coughs> hot side of that level? Or? Yeah, well it's powered to a couple of old phone supplies in here, <coughs> fed from this power lead. Phone supplies, 5 volt phone chargers. <coughs> okay. Just mashed a few cases, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I do things like that. <laughs> I have a big hammer. <laughs> I don't have the axe anymore. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it had to go. <coughs> Wait a minute, Maybe. what's done wrong? It's not let me log in yet. Uh. Uh. Can I put it in here, Lanya? Yeah, sure. And this one. Is the hacker space sponsored by Apple? So that none of the PCs actually work with the HP? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why it's not playing ball. You don't want to make all Display settings. Show me displays. I think it's this one. You can mm. use FN. Identify, is it not showing anything? No. Uh, and then. Yeah. <laughs> Come back, Linux, all is forgiven. No. Uh, it's gone. And then, don't you, uh, don't you, the driver from NVIDIA? <laughs> no, it's just. Can you try switching it to full HD? 980p. Oh, 1080p. It's just not doing anything. It's keep. Oh boy. It's not working. Show us the Like what Gopal did. Like what Gopal did, yeah. Now it's just not going to play ball with that thing. Oh well. All I've got on screen is just a simple readout of voltages and currents anyway. 
it's not a huge amount so but my laptop's not going to talk to this <laughs> 2017 I tell you, people to a I tell you what it is. It's jealousy. <laughs> it's all this AI and computer intelligence. See, today, my programmer needed a new computer, so we got a system with 32 gigs of RAM. And now my little baby is jealous. I'm going to have to bring it down to Simlim and treat it to some memory. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Switch to Mac. How dare you? <laughs> We're going to have a seance, an intervention. We're going to pray to the great god Google to rescue you from Apple. <laughs> Look, I'm an Android fanboy. Don't talk to me. <laughs> My other Android phone's over there in the bag. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So that's where we're at at the moment with this little device. But it's also got a more serious side. We develop air conditioners, and we're going IoT with the air conditioners, so we decided why not go to whole hog? We're building our own power supply systems anyway, so I thought, well, let's embed the full power measurement so we can monitor power quality. They're going to be used on island resorts using solar power, etc. So we're able to monitor all kinds of faults from there. Like if a motor becomes faulty, your power factors change. We can detect things like that. Our safe operating area shut down. You're powering a three-phase motor, and we detect power loss or brown out on a single phase. Shut it down before it burns out. So there you go. And of course, we had to drag poor Kieran into the project because he's the guy who's now programming our air conditioners. And that's why we had to get a new computer. Android Studio. I hate Android Studio. <laughs> okay, there we go, folks. Uh, so does anyone have any more announcements to make? No, but we do have one more toy to show you. Okay, you show me. Oh. Good evening, guys. I'm Kevin. Does it use HDMI? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yay! Yay. So, just in like, uh, like an, uh, separate display, uh, Audio Omega and some uh, probes for uh, measuring our AdCom system. It also got, got a uh, pressure sensor as well as community. <coughs> so you guys can take a look at it. Okay. And of course, we use shrink tubing to color code the probes yeah. and use the color display so we know which one is which. Mm -hmm. ah, I'm sorry, what computer platform is this inside? Uh, it's Arduino oh. Mega. Arduino. Uh, Arduino. Mega. Okay. Oh, Mega. Uh, we tested that using one of the lab systems at NTU, and it surprised <coughs> us. The tolerance on all but one of the probes was less than half a degree, across the temperature range between zero and, I think, 70 degrees. So it was much better than expected. What, what kind of probes? Semiconductor? Yeah, they're standard NTC probes. Oh, NTC? Not so good. And the joy of using Arduino and Google nowadays, we're able to Google almost all of the code we needed and just hack it together. <laughs> then he put the display code in a few other bits together. So, didn't take long. Now that's the simple one. Our main test air conditioner, it's got 160 of those NTCs in it. It's got 10 STM32 computers, a nano, and an ARM board. What are the, why so many sensors? It's a 330,000 atmospheric water generating unit, and it's, <coughs> this one's a scientific instrument. So it's a first prototype. And of course, when you're working with a bunch of scientists from NTU, they love data. <laughs> <laughs> they love to torture me with data. So, okay. okay. Uh, so, uh, that's all the speakers we have on today. Anyone have any announcements? Uh, okay. 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 Okay.